And so I rise to commend the government amendments and also to congratulate the Right Reverend Prelate on his successful campaigning and all of those who have been behind that. Um, and it's great that we're seeing an awareness of the huge issues around wildlife crime, uh, but this is very much a piecemeal approach that's addressing one small element of wildlife crime as important as it is. And as the Right Reverend Prelate said, this is about the welfare of hares as well as about what's happening to people living in the countryside. And so I'd ask the Labor Lord, the Minister, and if he can't respond now, I'd appreciate a response by letter whether the government is considering doing something about the welfare of hares, particularly those that are being caught in spring uh, and snare traps. And there's a particular issue around fen traps approached by tunnels, that there's guidance that says they should be restricted in size to the target species, but there is no indeed legal provision on that. And I'm afraid there are some very disturbing documentation of hares and pieces of hares being found in such traps also very much being found in Perdix traps. And if we think about what happens to an animal trapped by a paw and left to die possibly for days in terror and pain, I do hope that's something that the government is thinking about dealing with. And just very more briefly on the wider issue of wildlife crime, I note, and any noble lords interested in this, I'd point them to the Wildlife and Countryside Link annual report. There's been four out now on wildlife crime. That's the only summary available on the scale of the problem. Because as that organisation, which is a coalition of 64 groups around the country, points out, there is currently no recording of wildlife crime as a special category by the Home Office, and that group is campaigning for that to happen. And I hope that the Noble Lord, the Minister, might think about taking action on that in future. And finally, I'll have to point out that we have a very solid law against the persecution of raptors, but we also have to think about the uh, use of that law and the application of that law, given that 60 hen harriers have been killed illegally or disappeared under suspicious circumstances on and around grouse moors since 2018.